me 25 f with my fiance 25 meters together 5 years. I cheated, and I'm not sure how to handle his response, I understand that what I did was wrong. I don't deny that or try to excuse it in any way. I feel horrible about it, and I will do anything that I can to make this right. So while I understand calling me names is fair game, I am really looking for advice on what to from here. Very early on in our relationship, six weeks to be exact, I went on trip to visit my sister at her school. The second night there, we attended a huge party, and I was dancing and drinking. And one guy in particular kept hitting on me, and as the night wore on, I started flirting back. I make no excuses, I was drinking, but was not drunk, he did not rape or take advantage of me. I just made a horrible judgment call, and ended up going with him back to his room. I knew the moment it started, it was wrong, and I ended up crying while I was laying there. I got up and left as soon as he was done. To this day, I don't even know his last name, my sister was so wasted she went home with a friend and never knew I didn't the night at her place as I was there before she got home. I went back home and was just guilt ridden, and although I knew it would cost me my new boyfriend at the time, I was going to tell him and beg him forgive me. When I see him the next day, he is already very depressed. He did not get the job offer he thought he was going to get, and he was very down. I decided that I didn't want to add to his depression, so I spent the entire day trying to cheer him up and be a comfort for him. Then the next time see him, he is so happy with me because he said that I was able to make him forget about how crappy his life was at that moment that once again, I didn't tell him, yes, I know it was wrong both times, but I was young, immature, and scared. After those two times, we were getting along so well that I just put it in my head that nobody other than myself, and the other guy even knew it happened, so why ruin a great thing when I knew I would never do it again, and I would never see or hear from this other guy, flash forward to two months ago. We have been together for years now, and in fact, we have been together longer than any of our friends have been with their souls. We love each other, and we live together, he asked me to marry him. I was overjoyed and, of course, said yes. We told our family and our friends and everyone was happy for us. But two days after he asked me, I become overwhelmed by guilt. I called in to work because I couldn't function and spent the entire morning sitting on the couch crying. I was a liar and a cheat and tricked my boyfriend into proposing when in fact, if he knew about it from the start, he would have probably broken up with me, that I could not live the rest of my life like that and determined that when he came home, I had to tell him no matter what his mood was, the other part of this that is important is that I'm his first and only actual partner. He knew that I had been with one other guy before we got together, but that never bothered him, or so I thought. He comes home and immediately sees that I'm a mess and asks what's wrong. I tell him that he's understandably very upset, very emotional. I tell him that I will do anything to prove to him that I have never done anything like that since nor will I ever do anything like that in the future. I offered to let him go through my tablet, phone, Facebook, anything, and he says that it won't be necessary because he doesn't want us to live like that. He said that he wanted some time to himself to think and said he would sleep on the couch. I told him that I would give him all the time he wanted or needed, but that I would be the one sleeping on the couch, not him. The next morning, he's quiet, but does not show any bitterness towards me. I just asked if he was okay as I didn't wanna pry into his thoughts. He told me that, of course, he was hurt and upset. He said the hardest thing for him was the time frame because he doesn't know if being upset is justifiable or silly at this length of time. I told him he was certainly justified to be upset, and we both went to work. A week goes by and he seems to get a little better every day to the point that we both went out to have a somewhat celebration dinner for our engagement with one of his friends. Everything was fine until Wednesday when he tells me he'll be back very late from work. This doesn't bother me at all because this can be a somewhat normal occurrence. They can't stop until it is completed. And there have been times it's taken 16 hours to do. So I spend the evening catching up on some work I was behind on. Watch the movie. I knew he wouldn't wanna watch and then went to bed. I woke up the next morning, and he still wasn't there. I texted him and asked him where he was. He just replied with I'm on my way home. We pass each other on the street as I had to get to work. I call him and he just says that he was unexpected and was going home for some sleep. Okay, this isn't normal, but he did give me a heads up, and he wasn't acting weird or suspicious, so I just went about my day. I come home and he is sitting in the living room waiting on me. 
Long story short he told me that he spent last night with Tracy a married woman from his work. I just collapsed in the chair. He then goes on to tell me that this was a one-time thing and that she's open marriage, and he has no feelings for her, and she has none for him. But he said that he felt completely paralyzed with anger and envy about me not having slept with this other guy, but over my previous relationship as well. He said he knew he was wrong, but he just felt like he had to be with someone else just once so he wouldn't feel so insecure about me being with other guys, and he had only been with me. I started crying, of course, and then got pissed and started at him. Then he stops me and says, why am I yelling at him? I cheated first, and when he found out about it, he never at me, which is true, he didn't. He says Ray regrets the action. Really regrets feeling like he cheapened himself in the process, but that while he's sorry has hurt me, he says that even though it was wrong and he knows it was wrong, he said he's sorry, but felt like it was something he had to do. Now he wants us to move on like nothing happened. I have no idea what to do from here. I would be the world's biggest hypocrite if I left him, but I'm so hurt that I just don't know how we go forward from here. Sorry for the wall of text. Any advice would be appreciated. T. L. Doctor cheated on my boyfriend six weeks into our relationship for a go. Never told BF. Get engaged. Felt guilty. And tell him. He responds by getting even by sleeping with a co-worker. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Your action was domino thought out. Whereas his was considered and malicious. A marriage shouldn't be about two separate people trying to keep even with each other. It's about being a unit and being unselfish to move through things together. Marrying someone to avoid being a hypocrite would be ridiculous. But I'm sure you know that anyway. Redditor 2. Yay. I suggest at the very least that you two hold off on any wedding planning that you may be doing. Other than that, you two are going to need some serious counseling to get past this. But to be honest, I think your relationship might be doomed. You made a bad mistake by cheating, then another really bad mistake by hiding it from him. But he went and the same thing. For what? To know whether the grass truly was greener. For revenge. He says it's something he had to do as then doing it would somehow make what you did okay. In reality, it hurts you very badly, and I can guarantee it won't make him any better, nor will it allow him to simply just get over your cheating. I would be incredibly worried if I was you. His reaction to finding something hurtful was to turn around and do the same thing. That's not a healthy way to deal with problems, and as you can see, it has turned what was all already a really bad situation into a much worse situation. If there was any hope of you two possibly getting past your cheating, he may have just thrown that out the window.